Trees, roses, and so much more will put the riverfront on the path to being one of the best parks in the country. Today, the James and Joan Gardner Family Foundation donated $2.3 million to add to the beauty of Smale Riverfront Park. Local 12's Rich Jaffe joins us now with what's becoming another gem in the Queen City's crown. Rich. Curtis, if you have not been down here recently, let me tell you, what's going on all along this riverfront is nothing short of amazing. The Riverfront Park now runs from Ted Berry Park all the way up to the Roebling Bridge, which is where our camera is right now. And by spring, the asphalt and dirt lot that is right beside me here is going to be transformed into a green dreamscape that is going to run all the way to Paul Brown Stadium. It's a good day to be a kid at Cincinnati's Riverfront Park. Lisa Lewis brought her family here from White Oak. And there's lots to see, there's lots to do. Um, I'm just glad that, you know, Cincinnati has done something nice down here. And soon, in addition to the fountains, green space and walking paths, there will be a lot more. Thanks to the generous $2.3 million donation from the Gardner family. By the All-Star Game next year, the stretch of riverfront between the Roebling Bridge and Paul Brown Stadium will be transformed into a five-acre tree grove and rose garden. There will be a water garden at the Vine Street Steps, a river walk, a huge green space, and an interactive family area called the P&G Playscape. It's a great example of how private money gets things done. $44 million we raised to date that's going in this park. Right now, for every dollar of taxpayer money, we're putting $1.93 of private dollars. That's awesome. On the next level up, they've just poured the foundation for a classic carousel. At the end of the property will be a tribute to the area's old produce history, the Castellini Esplanade. James Gardner was one of the founders of the Cintas Corporation. He died unexpectedly last November. The gift of the family grove and rose garden was supposed to be a surprise for him. He would love to have come down here and walk just around, just stroll around. He was one of the guys back in the 70s who walked across the frozen river. <laughs> <laughs> he just he just loved this city and everything about it and loved the revitalization of it. And so does the Lewis family. You know, we're going to fly a kite down, cool. uh, you know, in the greens later yeah. and have a picnic. Um, I couldn't be happier. I, I couldn't be happier with what they've done down here. Now, if you missed it the first time, this bears repeating. This project, if it goes according to plan, will be done by next spring, and it's largely being done with private money. We could only hope that the park board might take over the streetcar. In downtown Cincinnati, Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. Curtis? The generosity of the community never ceases to amaze you, does it? Absolutely amazing. Yeah, right. no doubt about it. Rich, thank you. The Gardner Foundation is also responsible for the Mary Magdalene House in Over the Rhine and the Gardner Family Center for Parkinson's Disease and Movement Disorders at the University of Cincinnati Neuroscience Institute. For more about today's announcement, you can go to our website, local12.com.